and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is level order traversal which is marked as a easy level problem and it's a very common interview problem as well let's see what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given the root node of the tree binary tree we will be given one binary trees root node and we have to return the level order traversal okay so it might we also say it as breadth first traversal or level order traversal both we can say it so we have to simply return it into an array list okay all right now first thing first you will be thinking what is a binary tree if you are a real beginner you will be thinking what is a binary tree and second thing is what is level order traversal okay all right binary tree is basically a combination a collection of nodes in which every node can have maximum two children maximum two children and they will be represented by left and right so this is a binary tree uh, if you can see here this tree so here one node is there and it has two children one children this and one children this okay two children are there and uh, it's a binary tree similarly you can see other examples here ki yeah 10 and 10 has two children 20 and 30 20 has again two children 40 and 50 and 30 has no children okay all right similarly you can see one one has two children three and two three has no children two has only one children four and four has two children six and five so these all are all are binary trees because they can have minimum zero children and maximum of two children okay all right i think that will be clear now what is level auto traversal okay so if at any point we just make some levels like this is on one level this is on second level this is on third level okay isn't this correct so what is the if we traverse this whole tree in the form of this so first of all which node i will get i will first of all get 10 okay and after that i will get what 20 and 30 20 comma 30 and after that what i will get i will get 40 and 50 so this is the level order traversal we are basically traversing the levels one by one of this binary tree and uh, basically yeah levels and from left to right from left to right we are simply storing it into an array list and returning that okay all right so this is what is level order traversal so if you will say ki yeah, this is my grandfather and he has two ch children my father and my uncle okay all right now my father has again two children my uncle has no children so in this way we can make this as a tree a uh, family tree it is also a family tree same thing so like if you if then after that if you are asked to write the ancestors uh, in a level order you will say first of all my grandfather and after that my two children my two uh, like my one father and one uncle and after that my brother and me okay all right so in this way you will write a family tree so this is also a level order traversal family tree and basically level order traversal means traversing the nodes uh, level by level and from left to right okay all right i think the level order traversal will be also clear but what we have to do we can't just return one array list with all the nodes present in the level order traversal no we cannot we have to make array list of every level and then we have to return that array list okay all right so for the first level my array list will be something like 10 okay all right for second level my array list will be something like 20 30 okay all right 20 30 after that uh, the third level there are two children 40 and 50 so another array list is storing 40 and 50 now we will simply basically uh, combine all these into one array list basically store all these array list into one parent array list and then return that parent array list so this is what we have to do okay all right i think the problem statement now will be very very clear to you and now we should think of the approach what approach we can take okay all right so let's quickly move on to the one note this app where we will see the approach because it's more of the space here so it will be clear okay all right this is my tree um, i have to simply return the level order traverse okay so what i will do level order means one by one first this level, level then this level then this level and then this level so breadth first search you can see here it's written breadth first traversal and if you know breadth first traversal we use q here because q basically we uh, have to first of all look first of all i will traverse the first node okay all right after that i will traverse the children of first node children of first node is three and two 
okay so first of all one and after that children of one three and two we will simply write it okay all right and after that like one is done now uh, all, the, all the children of one are added and one is done okay after that three so has three any children no three has no children okay all right so three is also done has two any children yes two has one children so i will add the children of two as well four okay all right so two is also done after that four four has two children yes so four has two children let's simply add them six comma five and now four is also done has six any children no six has not children six is done has five any children no five is uh, no children so five is also done so this is the breadth first traversal or we can say level order traversal of this binary tree we have got this so here you can see we are just going step by step uh, how step by step basically means ki first of all one is done and after that the next element which is stored in this queue which is the next element stored in this queue three okay so three will be coming out of this queue uh, one is already out and stored in our answer now three will come out okay all right and three uh, is basically added into my answer array list and now children of three will be added into the queue what are the children of three no children are there okay all right now only two is present into the queue okay so now two will be again removed and after that two will be added to my answer array list and after that what are the children of two only four is the children so i will add four into my queue okay all right after that four is also removed and four is added to my answer and after that uh for there are two children of four six and five so six and five will be added to the queue okay after that six will be removed from the queue. so you can see we are removing the elements from the queue one by one and adding their uh, uh, remove element from queue one by one add it to our answer array list and add their children's add their children's into the queue okay so in this way we are going to do and after that when my queue will be empty i will get the level order traversal okay so simple level order traversal i will get but the issue here is ki we have not written we don't have to return simple level order traversal we have to return level by level okay all right level by level let's very very easy it is also let me tell you how we are going to do level by level level by level basically means ki in one level uh, uh nodes in one array list another level nodes in another array list this node in the its array list and then 65 in another array list and then basically we will combine all these into one parent array list and return them okay so this is level by level okay all right so how are we going to tackle this look very very easy it is first of all uh let me use draw here so first of all my queue let's suppose this is my answer array list okay this is my queue i will do a dry run quickly because many of you told to do the dry run okay all right so q is there okay uh, first of all one is added to my q okay all right now look after one is added we can say ki first level is done okay first level is done so i will try to get the length of the q the size of the q current size of the q is 1 current size of the q is 1 so i will run a while loop one time i will run a while loop one time and we will try to pop elements from the queue like one time so first of all i will pop one i will pop one from the queue so one is removed from the queue okay one is added to my answer uh, basically one is added in this way okay and after that one's children will be added to the queue so i will add 3 comma 2 to the queue okay all right so this is done one is done okay now what i will do uh, again i will have a while loop where uh, in that while loop i will first of all run that while loop q dot size time so currently q dot size basically means 3 comma 2 2 so i will run that while loop two time okay all right and i will have a temporary answer list basically for that level for that level 3 2 so first of all 3 will be removed from the queue 3 is removed from the queue and added to my answer okay children of 3 will be added to this array uh, this queue there is no okay after that two will be removed again two will be also removed and two will be added from to this queue uh, to this array list okay and children of two will be added to the queue four is added to the queue okay this 3 2 is now added to uh, our answer array list okay so in this way we are going now you will be thinking why we are taking q dot size because q dot size at any point is telling me how many nodes we have to add at that level okay all right what does this mean let me quickly delete all i am thinking it i taking it is becoming a bit uh, confusing i understand so look if first of all for the first time my queue my while loop will run one time okay all right and after that my while loop will run two time why while loop will run two times because ki yaar there are only two nodes 
because and after that like two children are there any so i am adding them again to the queue so how can i know like how many level of nodes are there like how many nodes are there in one level that's why i am taking queue dot size because let's suppose after one is done it means one level is done after that again i check the queue size at that time queue size at that time was two so there will be only two nodes in that level okay all right add both two nodes to have an array list add that array list to the parent answer and uh, after that two children and uh, these all children will be added to the queue but in that level i will only take these two okay all right so in this way we are going to do let's quickly take one more example here and uh, let's take one more 60 and then it is 40 something like this uh, 60 70 something like this okay all right so first of all my queue in that queue only 10 is added okay uh, i will get the queue dot size so queue dot size will be one okay so uh, one is the queue dot size and after that only one node uh, basically i will pop out one node from this queue 10 is added and return uh, removed and 10 is added to one temporary array list okay all right and after that 10 children 20 and 30 will be added to the queue 20 and 30 will be added to the queue look this this queue does not only contain integer but the whole notes but the whole notes okay all right 20 is added to the queue now look if i will not get the size of the queue in the starting i don't know ki yaar, uh, what till what uh, length are one level like 20 is 20 and 30 are from another level and 10 was from the another level okay all right so that's why i'm taking the queue dot size so 10 is done one array list a level is done and it is added to my parent array list okay all right another array list will be created okay now uh, again while loop will run currently queue dot size is what queue dot size is two so uh, it means in the next level two children are there okay all right let's pop them one by one 20 is popped out okay so 20 is added to my answer array list and 20 children are added to this queue 20 children are 40 and 50 so 40 and 50 are added okay all right after that 30 is removed okay 30 is removed and added to my answer array list and 30 children is 60 60 is added to the queue okay all right after that if you remember i took the size of the queue in the very starting which was two and two nodes are done it means this level is also done and you can see here as well 20 and 30 it has only two nodes 20 30 second level okay all right after that another level i will try again to get the q size q dot size is three so it means three nodes are there at this level okay first of all pop 40 40 is popped 40 has no children okay so nothing will be added to the queue 50 50 has also one children 70 so 70 will be added to the queue 70 is added and 50 is added to answer array list after that 60 so 60 is removed from the queue 60 has no children so nothing will be done and uh, yeah that's it so 60 this level is also done after that again queue only contains one so it means in that level only one node is present which is 70 okay 70 will be added and removed from the queue but now queue does not have any more element so we are done this is the level order traversal of this uh tree and we will simply return this array list i think i have given ample amount of time to this problem explanation and now it will be very very crystal clear to you isn't this guys so let's move on to the code section and when i'm going to write the code this will be let's say you will see okay it was too easy okay all right so now let's move on to the code section but before that if you have loved the explanation till this point please subscribe the channel and like the video because it will really motivate me and comment down what improvements you want okay all right so let's quickly see the code section first thing first let's make a array list of answer and i'm going to do same steps which i have just explained one by one first of all let's make it answer is equal to new array list something like this okay all right after that i will make a queue uh, which i will be using to iterate over the nodes queue will be of type node okay queue is equal to new linked list and if you remember if you know java you know ki yaar, queue is an interface which is implemented by linked list class so we will have to write something like this okay in c++ uh, it might be different i will add that code to my github as well you can check it from there and after that i will add first element to the queue that is first root okay first root is added to the queue okay all right now i will run a loop till my queue is not empty while my queue is not empty okay i will now get the queue size int size is equal to 
q dot size okay why i am doing this if you remember i told because at that point the size will be telling me how many nodes are at that level okay that's why i am trying to get q dot size okay now i will run this loop only till my size is greater than 0 like we are decrementing size one by one and running this till my size is greater than 0 because then only i can get the nodes of that level in that array list so let's make a array list as well Uh, let's name it as anything level is equal to new array list okay all right so what i'm doing is yeah look this while loop inside this while loop elements of that level will be removed from the queue one by one they will be added to this level array list and here i will add answer dot add level which means basically all the elements of that level are added into a new array list in this answer array list okay all right very very simple it is so let's go and after that what i'm going to do pop elements from the queue one by one queue dot pole and after that look now this tmp will be added to my level array list okay so what i will do level dot add tmp dot data why data because we have to only return integer not the whole node okay all right now look when 20 will be removed from the queue when 20 will be removed what i have to do i have to add their children 40 and 50 to my queue okay so let's add them very very simple it is if tmp dot left not equal to null simply add that to the queue so queue dot add tmp dot left okay similarly i will do for the right if tmp dot right not equal to null simply add q dot right and guys that is it that's it i will come out of this loop at 144 and simply return my answer array list let's quickly try to compile this to see if i have not done any silly mistake and uh, i'm not silly i'm smart so i will not do okay all right it's compiling let's try to submit this but before that i have made a very cool chrome extension for you with which you can watch the tutorials on this screen only instead of moving to youtube and watching it there and there are chances of disturbance as well so you can download this chrome extension it's absolutely free and the link is in the pinned comment okay all right let's try to submit this now and guys what will be the time and space complexity of it uh, space complexity we are using a queue where we are trying to add all the nodes one by one so space complexity will be number of nodes and time complexity will be also number of nodes because we are only processing all the nodes once okay so time and space complexity will be number of nodes we go off and we can say and it is getting accepted as well so yeah that was it for today i hope you have enjoyed the session please subscribe the channel like the video comment down share with your friends and i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye